video will show you how to add content to a container and how to customize the direction and alignment of these content items. To add content to a container, click the grid icon and simply drag and drop a widget in the container. Look for the indicator showing you where the widget will be added. You can add child containers as well. Widgets and child containers are the container's items. When you add a widget, the editor allocates an area to the widget and the widget's content will take some of this area. When creating the widget's area, the editor will do so according to the container's direction. In the container's main direction, the editor will adjust the side according to the content of the widget. If the container's direction is horizontal, the width of the widget's area will be determined by the content's width. If the container's direction is vertical, the height of the widget's area will be determined by the content's height. The other side of the area will be determined by the free space the container has in the secondary direction. To delete an item, right-click on the item's icon to open its menu and click Delete. You can also right-click the item in the navigator to open the menu and delete it. With Flexbox containers, you're always adding content based on the container's direction. You can control whether the content will be added horizontally or vertically, and you can change that direction as you wish. Flexbox containers adjust their size according to the size of the items they hold. But you might have free space in the container's primary direction, for example, when a minimum height is set for a vertical container. When you have free space in the primary direction, the Justify Content setting allows you to manage how the items will be located in the container. While the Justify Content option allows you to control spacing and placement in the container's primary direction, the Align option allows you to align items when you have free space in the secondary direction. If the container's direction is horizontal, you can align the items vertically with the top, center, or bottom of the container. But if the container's direction is vertical, you can align the items horizontally with the left, center, or right of the container. Flexbox Containers also allows you to set the size of the gap between the items in your container by using the Gap Between Elements slider. You can also choose the wrap or no wrap options for items in your container. If you wrap your items, you're prioritizing the item size. That means the parent container will adjust its size to contain the size of the items it holds. If you select no wrap, the size of your items will adjust to their parent container's size. A final way you can control alignment in your container is under the advanced tab of each item. Here, you'll find the Align Self, which can override the parent container's alignment. For more information on adding content to your website, head over to Elementor's Help Center. You'll also find our complete guide to mastering Flexbox containers linked just below this video.